why are people calling it the Star of Bethlehem? So this uh, so-called, you know, people have been uh, enchanted by this, by the stars and by the sky above us for thousands and thousands of years. People have been always uh, looking at the sky, looking at the motion of the planets, looking at the motion of the stars and the moon and the sun. And there's cultures and religions and people around the world who have been taking the, our observations of these uh, of the of the solar system and incorporating that into their traditions and religions. It's uh, the Star of Bethlehem refers to the refers to a a, a possible event. Um, or in ob observations around the around uh, uh, several years BC uh, near the birth of Christ, and uh, the um, uh, it is it is quite possible that there was a conjunction in the year six or seven BC, and a conjunction very much like this one here, where Jupiter and Saturn were near in the sky, very near to each other. Maybe it wasn't a tenth of a degree, but maybe a degree apart. Uh, so it's possible that a conjunction like this is uh was what was referred to as the as the star of bethlehem but there are many other possible things this could have been as well uh for instance there are comets which are uh visitors from uh, from our solar system mostly but which appear in the sky as they are passing uh passing uh toward the sun and uh, uh, past the earth um uh there are novas and supernovas which are essentially different versions of exploding stars and brightening stars uh and there can also be alignments between planets and some of the stars and some of the constellations, which can uh, be inspiring for people. So uh, for the star of Bethlehem itself, we don't know uh, for certain uh, which of these uh, which of these possible astronomical phenomena was responsible for what's known as the star of Bethlehem. Uh, any of them are, uh, are possibilities and scholars and, and historians are uh, 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 have, have proposed all these. They're all plausible ideas. And without additional observations from the time, it's hard to say for sure exactly what it was. What is exciting is that everybody on Earth is gonna be able to go out and see this and continue this deep connection uh, between people on the Earth and, uh, and observations up in the sky and this continue this connection that we have to the, to the sky above us.